Hi, my name is Robert Klein, and I have spent probably 20 years of my life around some very poor people. People that make three to five dollars a day maximum. I always wanted to do something that would systematically and sustainably change their lives. And in the last two years, I've come up with a project that does exactly that. It addresses the problem of pollution and poverty simultaneously. And I believe that's very important. You have to address these two things at the same time. Mike Nolan and I have been working on a pyrolysis machine for the last two years. This is a technology that allows us to take plastic garbage and waste oil and turn it into gasoline, kerosene, and diesel. Our idea in making this machine mobile is to be able to drive up into the most polluted, disgusting communities anywhere in the world and to be able to buy people's garbage. With our mobile pyrolysis machine, we're gonna take this garbage and we're gonna turn it into fuel right then and there. We sell the fuel and we use the money to build more machines which allows us to buy more garbage and to go into even more remote communities. This is how we develop a sustainable culture of recycling in even the poorest, most remote communities in the world. We want everyone to have a stake in this. This could be everyone's part-time job. Children could use this to make money so they can go to school. Single mothers could use this to make extra revenue. Old people could use it to make extra revenue. Fishermen could even use their nets to catch garbage instead of fish. With 4 billion people in the world who have absolutely no access to recycling, we think we're going to be pretty busy. That is why we need your help. We want to build 100 units in the next five years that can go to communities all over Africa or Asia or South America or anywhere people have zero recycling. Moreover, we want to disseminate the technologies we develop to like-minded partners all over the world. This black stuff is either contaminant, dirtying the soil or dirtying the water, or it's diesel. It all depends on that machine right there. We're appealing to crowdfunding because we believe everyone should participate in finding a solution to this problem. It's not going away. It's only getting worse because I believe if we're gonna make even the smallest dent in this problem, we need hundreds of thousands of partners in every nook and cranny of the world working on this problem. Please act now and donate to our campaign immediately. This problem is not going away and frankly speaking, time is not on our side.